Okay, I'd like to just go over the instructions for the create a calculator assignment um, right here, create a calc assignment. Basically, I want you to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to build an IPO calculator, input process output calculator. Okay, so basically you should get uh, inputs from the user, do a calculation with those inputs, and then output the result. Okay, so you can do whatever calculation you want, um, whatever formula you want. I've given some ideas here. Um, distance between two points, right? Ask the user for x1, y1, x2, y2, right? The x and y coordinates of two points and find the distance between them. Basically just Pythagorean theorem. Fahrenheit to Celsius conversion, right? Ask the user for a Fahrenheit temperature, do a calculation to convert it to Celsius. Um, a tip calculator, right? How much was your bill? What interest uh, or yeah, what percentage do you want to tip? And how many people were there? And it should say, hey, how much each person would pay? Or uh, the one here actually says, what's the total tip amount, the total, or the, yeah, the tip amount, the total to pay, and the total per person. Something like that. Um, compound interest is interesting. That one's right here, right? If you invest a certain amount of money at a certain interest rate for so many years, how much will you make? Um, Heron's formula is a cool formula that'll allow you uh, to find the area of a triangle given the three sides. Um, any type of surface area or, or volume formulas, um, but totally up to you whatever formula you're interested in. The key is that you get input from the user, do a calculation, output the result. Um, basic criteria, right? Get stuff from the user, make sure it's converted to numbers, right? Remember, do that uh, that plus sign in front of the, um, to convert that value into a, into a number instead of a string. The calculation should be done correctly, right? Make sure that it actually does the right calculation. And you output the result to the user. Make sure you have good looking code, right? Comments, a little title at the top. Have like uh, the input process and output second sections clearly labeled. Make sure your variable names are meaningful, that they describe what they store, have good spacing and indentation, that kind of good stuff. Um, and then the extended criteria is that you're doing it all with HTML, no alert or prompt. So technically the basic, you could just make a program using alert or prompt and that would get you the basic criteria four to five. Um, but to get the full marks here, you need to have the HTML with the button and the event listener and the input elements and the inner HTML and all that stuff, okay? So very similar to this average calculator, right? Get some inputs from the user, hit the button, output the result. Okay, and that should be it. Should be a fairly straightforward assignment if you understand uh, all the lessons and the code alongs that we did. Um, just some practice for you to build it on your own, uh, your own from scratch. Okay, all the best, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.